Hi, this is Chuck Marin with Reed Business Information. I'm here live at National Manufacturing Week 2006. Joining me is Jim Spann of Blue Ridge Numerics. Hi, Jim. Hi, Chuck. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Jim, what exactly is CF Design? The CF Design is upfront CFD software. And Chuck, what that means is basically CF Design puts fluid flow and heat transfer simulation up front in the design process and into the CAD environment. It allows a, a CAD engineer or a design engineer, mechanical engineer, project engineer, thermal engineer to basically take their CAD model and, and take their MCAD workstation and, and turn it into a, a virtual or an interactive flow bench, wind tunnel, and thermal test rig. That, that CAD model that they've built then becomes a, a fully parametric or, or associative zero cost prototype. Uh, it, it really reduces the cost of product development and more importantly, it accelerates the process and really opens up doors for innovation because it allows the engineer to see what's going on in the product in a much more vivid and dynamic way than they, than they can see just by physical testing alone. I understand that the upfront CFD software is different than the traditional CFD software. How is it different? Yeah, well, CFD, and of course, CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics. Uh, that's been around for 30 plus years. And historically, CFD software has been used by a dedicated analyst, uh, someone with extreme levels of expertise. Uh, typically, they actually come to work every day, and that's all they do all day long is use CFD software. That's kind of their job. And it requires very intensive or very expensive computing capabilities. And what has happened over the years is that technology, while it's very powerful, has not had that much impact on business uh, because the mainstream process doesn't allow for it. So upfront CFD is taking that technology, that same powerful technology, but redeploying it in such a way that a multitasking engineer, a non-specialist, if you will, is able to use the technology as part of the, the mainstream or normal process in the company. Uh, and that's really having a tremendous business impact. So that's really how traditional CFD and upfront CFD differ. One doesn't replace the other, they're complementary. Uh, upfront CFD is really for the design engineer working early in the process, and traditional CFD still has a place, it just really belongs more in the uh, R&D environment, and not so much in, the, in that mainstream product development environment. What projects or applications can CF Design handle? Basically, Chuck, CF Design can handle anything where there's any sort of a flow of a gas or a liquid, and that can mean anything. It could be water, that could be diesel fuel, that could be blood, or any, ty or, or any type of other gas, like argon gas or, or nitrogen. And any type, anytime there's, there's heat transfer, whether it be conduction, convection, radiation, uh, joule heating, uh, and that, that, so that really opens the door for CF Design to be used in, in just about every engineering application you can imagine. Valves, pumps, blowers, fans, electronics packaging, uh, power generation, oil drilling, uh, under the hood automotive components and systems. Uh, basically anything you can, you can imagine uh, CF Design can handle uh, because of the technology that's in it. Is this a replacement for physical prototyping and lab testing? No, no, not at all. Actually, they're very complementary. What our customers do is they use CF Design early in the process when the design is still kind of coming together. And typically, before CF Design, the company would actually rely on physical prototyping and testing just to establish basic ideas of direction as to where the design should go. Well, what CF Design allows them to do is look at a whole lot more designs and a whole lot less time uh, on their workstation using their native MCAD model. And then once they have a, a fully detailed CAD assembly that they're very confident in, they then go to physical testing. And that really allows physical testing to be used for what it's really intended to be used for, which is product validation. So CF Design really complements the physical testing process. How does CF Design work? Well, what we've done is we've built from the ground up a software application that's, that's uniquely developed for the mechanical engineer, that multitasking engineer, someone who's only going to use it maybe 10% of their job. So it has to be super easy to use, but at the same time it has to have the complete analysis capability that an engineer would need to solve really complex engineering problems. So they simply, inside their CAD environment, they can be Pro Engineer, SolidWorks, Autodesk Inventor, Katia, uh, Unigraphics NX, Solid Edge. Um, inside their CAD environment, they'll select CF Design from the menu. That automatically opens their geometry, their, their native model, up inside of CF Design. 
then all you have to do is assign the basic inputs, the, uh, in, the, 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 the flow conditions going in, in, uh, into the valve or in, into the flow device, uh, what, what the, uh, the, the outlet pressure might be, what the flow rate might be, uh, what the fan speed might be, those types of things. And then you need to find the fluid, if it's going to be a water or a, or a gas or if it's going to be diesel fuel, what have you. And then they, hit, then they hit the launch button, they hit the start button. And then from there, CF Design does all the rest for them. The meshing is fully automatic. CF Design actually goes in and selects all the right solvers to use at the right time. And then CF Design tells the, the user when the solution is ready for, for review. At which point then they can get into using our 3D publishing tools and our 3D visualization tools that really open up the, 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 that window of innovation we were talking about. Uh, if they don't like what they see in the simulation, they go back in the CAD environment, they make a design change in their CAD tool, relaunch CF Design, and boom, they're back into doing their second simulation, and much faster than physical prototyping. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. This is Chuck Marin with Read Business Information. Thanks for watching.